Now, Sunday's Metro and Captain Tom's Moore, excuse me, Captain, Captain Tom Moore's charity is in a bit of trouble, getting some negative headlines, Andrew. That's right. And the Captain Tom Foundation is being scrutinized at the moment by the Charity Commission, a regulatory compliance people. Um, it's been revealed uh, that the the uh, that Captain Tom's daughter uh, was put up as its CEO and was going to be getting a salary of one hundred and fifty thousand pounds a year. And this is that they've now put a stop. The Charity Commission's put a stop to that because they see that as, as presumably because they see that as nepotism. And that figure, as it says here in the article here in the Metro, that represents 13.68% of the charity's total first year income. Now, we had a story a couple of weeks ago, didn't we, about the, the, the same foundation being investigated, not investigated, but it was being revealed mm. that a substantial amount of the money uh, that they had raised was going on management fees and on admin and that kind of thing. Um, I just don't know in terms of charities, you know, how much of, of the money that is raised is often uh, just frittered away yeah. on these various things. But it's not necessarily going to the people it was meant to go to, yeah. which is the problem. And um, what was interesting was uh, that when the, when the watchdog started discussions with, them, with uh, Miss Ingram Moore, she took the decision that the CEO role was not something she wished to pursue so right. she could focus on other commitments. So once it came out, she said, I'll tell you what, I've, I'll, you, I'll leave it. She, so she said, I didn't want it anyway. I didn't want it anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, want yeah. the six-figure salary anyway. I didn't, exactly. Didn't want it. Well, of course, you know, uh, perhaps her people would argue that to run an organisation of that scale would, would possibly involve a six-figure salary because it, equivalent charities will have a man management structure and those people are paid quite well. So well, are we being a little bit partisan in the way that we're reporting? Well, you see, the, Mark, the, the figure was suspicious because, it, look, a salary of 150000 would be compar comparable to the RSPCA, which was recorded as paying its top earner 150000 But they had an annual uh, income of $140 million, which is 100 times that of the Captain Tom Foundation. So it's like, why was the amount on, so on, large? On the other hand, she would be well-placed to run that foundation. She would have an emotional investment in making yeah. sure that it, you know... She, she, I'm not saying she would have been the wrong candidate. No. Uh, but it, nevertheless, what has happened is she stepped down. And also the financial package for the, the chief of the RSPCA, a lot of that comes in, those little sort of uh, nibbly biscuits... Whiskers. Is that right? Pedigree charm, yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah. Uh, chewy toys. So I'm they not sure. They, chewy toys. They're not only motivated by money. I'm not Nip. sold on a charity. I think it's all a big scam. Ch just charity. Charity, yeah. It's just another excuse for people to harass you in the street, which is already a problem for me anyway because of all my fans. But do you know what I mean? It's it, such a misanthrope. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Incredible. And you're trying to dress up this as a virtue, as you being mean. <laughs> Even the cats cross the road to avoid him. Well, look, whichever <laughs> charity you donate to, do have a look at their website and have a look at where the money goes.